NHS moving like lightning because the conditions are so extreme and so urgent right now. Ventilation is a nightmare because we have run out of clever ventilators and so is everyone else. Because it's the only proper exit strategy we've got is that one of the hundred or so vaccine approaches that are being taken is going to actually work. So that link to social and economic deprivation has been a very strong one for COVID transmission and diagnosis and death. This thing around children is a real concern. That the, These kids are under stress. It's not enough just to motivate people. It's not enough just to tell people what to do. You need to be able to give them the social and material context in which they can do it. My bet is that we will get a second wave and the vaccines won't get here in time to stop the second wave. Take, it perhaps will take the edge off it. But I would rather that we took the pain now, we bought ourselves uh, some a period of low incidence. The economic impact of the shutdown in Nigeria will be felt for years to come. So we have made huge sacrifices in our countries in order to uh, protect uh, our population. The acute problem I think will be over by uh, April and then we'll be in a phase of disease, outbreaks, uh, small infections that will come and go. I think that we're looking at uh, repeated uh, immunisation um, over time because we'll need to keep boosting our immune response. I think this is a kind of a matter of probably the next year or two whilst we understand how to do this and find a way of responding rapidly. Only the best platform to provide COVID vaccines to healthy teenagers if a decision, if and when a decision is made to do that. We should really be working now to do everything we can to prepare for a potential future pandemic while we have all the knowledge. I think it's really important that we do it now and by spending a small, a small amount of investment now potentially means that we don't have to have the massive costs for pandemics at a later stage. It's not just this Christmas, it's perhaps the, you know, Christmas is for the next five years. That COVID is not going to go away. This is now a disease that for the rest of our careers is going to be around. Every single person working in the NHS, every single doctor, every single nurse cares more than you could ever imagine about the importance of ensuring that these poor individuals who are dying from coronavirus receive the very best substitute love and care at the bedside that we no. can find.